Uh. Sam, my raven, likes sharp objects. He does. And my father was a collector. He collected handguns and he also collected knives. And when I was looking at the knife collection that my dad left me, they're mostly just small pocket knives. That's what he collected. But he had a few longer knives and he had this monstrosity in, it, in the collection. And this is a uh, Buck Mountain Man. There were 300 of them produced in 1981. Sam went right for it. He was trying to pick it up and fly away with it. If you have a raven, you have to raven proof your house. It, does, it doesn't matter how much you want the, the bird to fly around. It, it's about making sure that the bird doesn't get hurt. So when the, when the bird is two years or under, it depends on the bird, but you, cra you, you cage them heavily, sort of like a dog. If you leave the house, you put the bird up into the cage so that they don't get into any problems. And even though that Sam's like nine years old, I wouldn't leave this out for him. This must be locked up. You know, it's like, it's like if you're, if, if you have a family, if you have kids and you have a handgun, you would not leave that handgun any place that the child could find it. The same is true with the Raven and shit like this. You know, he's going to play with this. I guarantee you if this drops on your foot, it's going in your foot. This is seriously weighs like two and a half pounds or something. Keep the knives away from the Raven. Seriously. And the matches. Don't underestimate your Raven. If you have a pet Raven, make sure that your medicine cabinet is locked up. They might, you know, eat your Lipitor. Sam, Sam loves you.